Welcome back, girls and gents. Child, the weave doctor had to make a comeback. It was so much hot and heat and hellation going on up in here. My phone cut off, okay? That's how you know it's getting real out here in these detox heavy metal streets. Okay? But anyways, as we were saying earlier, anytime that you're trying to do a detox protocol, any type of holistic or any type of um, medical type of regimen, you have to follow all the rules or a very or follow them very closely. It's not a time to, uh, <laughs> I don't even know how to, you know, to compare it to. It's, I guess it's not like a buffet. You get to pick and choose whatever you want on the menu. Okay. You cannot have it your way. <laughs> so anyways, as I was saying, I had started embarking on my own heavy metal detox journey. And I thought that I had been detoxing all of these years. However, um, through the science of, um, through biochemistry, through uh, mineral balancing science, I start to find out that there are so many different toxins that are stored up in a lot of our different um, our different um, enzymatic sites throughout our body and our organs. And it's just amazing that um, I know for me, sometimes I, I have dealt with in the past uh, digesting different fats and sugars. And that has to do a lot of times with your liver, which I've already knew. And um, now as I'm learning the pancreas, but a lot of times if you have a lot of different type of heavy metals stored up, in um, different sites of your organs, then your body will not begin to function um, to its highest um, level. So I have been doing my detox and journey, and this week I have stepped it up another notch. I've just got back my mineral balancing results. And, um, you know, kind of actually, it's funny, a lot of the results that you will see will kind of you know, help to explain more of your symptoms and other different diagnoses that your doctor has already given you. So it's pretty much just a screening of your body. And also some things um, we will be detecting sometimes different things that your doctor and the blood test will not be able to pick up probably from years and months later on down the road. So um, that's just pretty much about my heavy metal detox journey. Also, like I said, this week I took it up a notch after I got my results back because I saw that my thyroid is um, operating in an overactive manner, probably could be because of stress. And that's why I have started, I used to only do like 20 to 30 minutes of sound therapy, but I have stepped it up to 45 minutes. All right. See, that's how you got, you got to be aggressive, be aggressive, honey. If you want to make it in this holistic and now Corona fested, infested society. Okay. So I took it up to 45 minutes. I had a lot of um, aluminum, I had um, high aluminum and manganese, very high ma manganese. Um, I don't know if that's because of its, uh, its dumping or that my body is trying to protect me. Um, we learned in the Three Amigos in our training that sometimes if you're dealing with um, heavy, a lot of heavy metal um, toxicity that your body will try to compensate and it will, um, it, it generally kind of runs in threes and it these heavy metals, they kind of help to protect you, to help your body regulate itself, even though you're not giving it the correct minerals. So that's pretty much my journey today. I'm running out of time. I got to delete some more information on my phone. Okay. Been running my mouth too much. <laughs> but this now this is the last little thing that I want to address. I started taking the, um, like I said, you got to do everything in the detox protocol, in a, in a program. I started taking the Endomet uh, Laboratory uh, vitamins that were formulated specifically for each oxidation rate and the different trends that are detected in the different uh, biochemistry trends that we learn and study. And um, I started taking that and oh my God, now this is a sign of healing. So don't do this um, if you're not ready to really rest and just get your body to relax, especially a lot of people who are in um, burnout. So anyways, I just want to let you guys know that yesterday I probably slept exactly probably 15 hours. It was crazy. But today I feel amazing. And so I'm going to keep going on my journey, even though that kind of um, set me for a loop. I'm going to keep going strong. So for more details, please feel free to inbox us, email us, go to purevirginmain.com.